Good day, YouTubers. Thought I would do a quick update on my 4XAN uh, transmission. Just about got it all back together. And uh, pretty easy to put it back together. Uh, once you get up to the center support, and you can see it's uh, kind of sitting there. Uh, put that center support in, you just take a uh, take the nut here, you back this off, and you screw that center uh, nut in there. And it's uh, actually a T, T40 star. Tighten that down. You tighten this nut there, and uh, your center support is pretty much in. Now, once you get above here, it gets a little tricky. There are the uh, sun shell and some of the other parts. Um, I wanted to show you what was wrong with the transmission. It turns out, if you watch one of my other videos, you saw this unit here that I took out. This whole uh, center support piece I'm oh, not center support the center clutches there's three packs of clutches in here the other clutch pack is actually in the back of the transmission there uh, this clutch pack here you remember how black this was on this outside well it turns out this clutch pack was shot here are the old clutches that were in it and you can see there's absolutely nothing left it toasted all four of them and uh, of course I went online and on eBay and found some dealers and bought new clutches so this whole unit has all new clutch packs in it and it should be okay um, the trick is now when you go to put this unit in I like to lay the transmission kind of flat because if you try to drop this straight down stuff starts falling apart this piece here it had the clutch pack that was burned up you can see it was riding on the outside of those uh, ribs there uh, pretty good so I had to take a little sandpaper and try to smooth that down and it gets tricky when you go to put all this back together you got to kind of get these just right for this will go down there it takes a little fiddling and uh, you just got to spin it and turn it sometimes you can take a screwdriver and go in here and kind of align uh, a lot of these clutch packs up kind of straight and that usually helps a lot and don't forget you know make sure your bearings are in the right place but um this is what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to get all this, uh, see that's in now, because I heard it click. Pop down in there as far as I can go. And when you go to put all this in, it gets a little tricky because this unit's kind of heavy. Uh, once this part here goes in the transmission, then you can start putting uh, some more stuff in. And setup is kind of like that, like that. Then you have uh, your sun shell. Actually, it sits behind it. I should just kind of do that like that. And then you got this one big glass piece that goes over this and you've got to get these splines lined up with these clutches so I've been trying to do this as one unit and uh, it gets a little, it can be done I did it once last night got it all together and I ended up getting the pump support housing which is right here on in but I could not get this uh, drive gear all the way on whoops on like that it would only go down so far because there's a set of teeth on into this that has to go uh back on the um oh let's see where did i put it actually it's right here uh, kind of it kind of goes like this this goes in like this and on the back side this has to go and this set of teeth right here I think you can see that, I don't know. Right about like that. And I couldn't get that in last night. The bearing was, um, I, I could get it go in about this far, about like that, and it would stop right there. It wouldn't go all the way in like that. So I had to take the center support back off, the pump housing, and I'll have to fiddle with it today. But just be aware, when you get up past the uh, center support, it gets a little tricky. You have to figure out what's what will work best for you. You have to put all this back together and make sure all the clutches are aligned and all that. And uh, you have to put your piece back in there, which goes. I used to put a little heavy grease on it. If you put heavy grease on it, it likes to stick and won't fall off. That kind of goes like that. And then this piece here, you can check all your races too. Make sure they're okay. A lot of races in there. I don't know, okay, but you see this has got to get down like this and you, you got to spin it and fiddle with it 
kind of hard to do with one hand, but um, that's what I'm up against right now. But if I can get all this back in there and uh, get this uh, center support back in here, this will pretty much be done today. So I worked on it for a while last night. I got tired and quit, but this center support piece, pump piece, goes like this. And it's got to rest sort of like that on that. So, and you can take this out. You don't have to take this parking uh, rod out for the gear shift. You don't have to take that out, which is great. Uh, it takes a little wiggle, in, but it'll come in and out. But that's what I'm up against. If I can get that in and uh, get the chain on it, then I can put the rest of it back together. See, this should sit down in there like that. It's a little tricky. I'll play around with it here in a little bit, but uh, just wanted to give you an update, let you know. So if you're putting one of these back together, have some patience, especially once you get past the center support up here where the three clutch packs are. These tolerances are very tight. I know it looks like a mess here, but it's uh, organized chaos right now for me. And don't forget all your little pieces, which is, uh, that piece kind of goes like that, holds that band in. And all my bands were okay. I didn't see nothing wrong with them. But the uh, reason I didn't have second gear, like I said earlier, is because of these clutch, this clutch pack right here. These clutches were shot. And I don't know why they went out. And I've seen other transmissions with this Ford AX4N. Uh, I've done the same thing. If anybody knows why it burns off these clutch packs, let me know. The rest of the clutches were fine in this uh, transmission. I couldn't find really anything else wrong so i don't know all right well there's the update and hopefully i'll get this back together uh later today and now here she sits she's kind of waiting patiently on me to put the tranny back in of course i've got the uh thing kind of blocked up there with the uh engine support so we'll see hopefully i get it done today and here's one more last look at it they're not too bad to rebuild. They look a little chaotic when you first take it apart, but after you study it a while, it's not too bad to put back together. And uh, hopefully I'll get it running later in the next couple days. Oh, by the way, I did order a brand new torque converter for it. It should be here today. Here's the old one. These are very notorious for the spline down in that torque converter, stripping out and leaving you with no pump and when that happens this uh, spline here strips the inside of this uh, torque converter out and this pump will just spin and will not turn this housing uh, will not turn this rod and this is your pump and when that happens you go nowhere you are dead in the water so uh, this is a factory torque converter it's okay I'm just tossing it I'm junking it I bought another one remanufactured one a better one better condition updated much stronger Free shipping for like $130, so it was a pretty good deal. Oh, and by the way, here is my new torque converter. If you have a factory one and you're thinking about use, reusing it, um, don't do it. Because if you reuse it, you know, it's probably going to fail on you. But this is my new one. It came today, and it's got the uh, stronger splines in it and everything, but uh, there's a nice look at them. Glad it came today, so it looks like all continue to work on it and hopefully uh, get it back together but uh, like I said uh, these splines like to strip out inside of here and if you um, rebuild one of these transmissions and you put the factory torque converter back in it you're gambling there's a good pretty good chance it could fail on you so you know for an extra hundred dollars or so it's worth it go ahead and buy one of these just so you know so it was a pretty good deal so I'll be Happy to get that. All right. Well, there's your update, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, good luck if you're working on one of these Tauruses transmission.